Yeah, a defib is what saved Fabrice's life. Since then, Arrhythmia Alliance has been an integral part of our family, so it just made sense to actually collaborate them and bring them forward going together. And I feel like by getting my sources out there, we're actually aiming for supermarkets. It's all about raising awareness and letting them know how important defibrillators are and actually feed them at the same time. So it's an amazing union. We've done a few things like the Cube. We're going to be doing Family Fortune as well. And these things that we do, again, Arrhythmia Alliance gets a shout out because that is our intended charity. So it all helps in building awareness and for people to know that defibs save lives. Prior to Fabrice's accident, completely oblivious to it. You never think that a 23 year old is ever going to suffer from a cardiac arrest. It's one of those things sometimes you don't actually know something exists until it actually happens. So it went from being something that I had no clue about to knowing how to do CPR, knowing how to use a defibrillator, knowing how easy it is to use a defibrillator and actually raising that awareness for it. We're gonna be donating one to the school that my sons attend, but by him suffering from it, it's opened so many people's minds to the actual actuality of this is actually happening and lots of people are dying from it on a daily basis. But prior to his accident, no, I didn't have a clue. I feel more reassured that he has it in, you know, and I think I'd be on tender hooks if he hadn't had it in. So it's a saving mechanism and I'm happy for it just in case. It's almost like driving with a seatbelt, you know. You put your seatbelt on in hope that an accident doesn't happen, but if it does, you know that you should be protected by putting it on. If he's on a hike by himself somewhere or in a hotel room by himself, he's always got that there to help him. So I think it's an amazing device. I had a catering company called, naffly called Shauna's Limited. I'm a one-man band, I do everything myself. My family comes first as well, I've got two little kids, I've got a husband who's very busy as well. There's no stabilizers in the sauce, so there's no binding agents, there's no additives and preservatives, and the curry and the jerk are actually gluten-free. So there's something for everyone. I'm not giving anyone any nasties. We're getting the Arrhythmia Alliance name out there as well, so it's just a win-win. I can have my family, we can do a bit of charity, and we can enjoy some good food, so it's a great. Trilogy. <laughs> I really want to diversify. So, why we linked with Arrhythmia Alliance is because we wanted to have defibs, branded Mrs. Mamba defibs, wherever we we're actually stocked. Now, I'm in Asda and Booze at the minute, and we're in talks with some other retailers. Asda have actually put 600 defibs in their supermarkets, which is amazing. Five years' time, I would hope that Mrs. Mamba is an international brand, and just like when you see a golden art sign and you know it's a McDonald's, when you see a spotted logo or bright canary yellow, you know that it's a Mrs. Mwamba's product. That's what I hope for in five years time.